Hi everyone, it's me, Tam. I'm back with day two of the January challenge on my new vlog, Tam Uncut. And today I want to talk about marriage. I'm married. I know I look young. Some people wonder like, whoa, you're married? They wonder how old are you when you got married? I did get married young. I was 22 when I got married. And I've been married for about three and a half years now. Hence, guess how old I am? 25. I'm actually turning 26, though, in a few days. And I'll talk about my birthday when it comes, of course. But I just wanted to talk about three points when it comes to marriage. Because a lot of people are getting married and they're getting divorced or faster than they got married. And I think because there are three key ingredients that are missing in their relationship number one is commitment commitment is just the number one when it comes to marriage you have to be committed to the relationship and to your spouse if you are not committed trust me if i wasn't committed to staying with my husband we would have gotten a divorce a long time ago because there are a lot of things that will bother you and irritate you about that person and you will just want to throw in the towel a lot of people get married um and then a couple months weeks or maybe two years five years later they get a divorce and why most times nowadays people are getting divorced for irreconcilable differences and i feel that there is no difference that is so irreconcilable that you can't just you know focus on your goal of committing to that person and just moving on you know i mean i guess i haven't gotten to that point where i feel that it's just so hard to bear but trust me we have had our share of ups and downs i mean three and a half years that it it's it's a long time and you know young people you know there's a lot of distractions out there but our number one thing is commitment Number two is forgiveness. Forgiveness is going to help you remember the commitment that you have. Forgiving, the greatest quote that I've ever heard or definition of forgiveness that I've heard is relinquishing your power to punish. That's forgiveness. It's relinquishing your power to punish that person for what they've done to you, what, how they've treated you, or it's, it's relinquishing that, um, that authority and what, you've, what you feel that you have to make them pay. You release that because truly you forgive them. And I know people say, you know, forgive and forget is not so easy when things are, so, when things are, are, are deep, you know. But of course, you, you can never forget but you don't have to keep reminding the person of what they did because they know and if they're truly sorry they're hurt by it as well so forgiveness is number two key ingredient and lastly i mean there are other ingredients but the three that i really think are the key and in my relationship have been the key to help me and my husband have a strong happy healthy marriage to this point are these three the third is trust you have to trust your spouse. You you have to. Every time they walk out the door, if you think they're never going to come back or they're going to leave you for someone else, you're going to be living you're living a life of paranoia and you're going to be angry, sad, and you're going to have all these negative feelings because you don't truly trust your spouse. You don't trust your mate. And I think that as I have grown in my relationship with my husband. I have learned to trust him. And at times, you know, in the beginning, I thought I trusted him. Because I'm a very trusting person. Very naive and trusting. But there are times in certain areas, you know, whether it's money or just other things. Of course, money is the major thing. Because that's, again, another big thing that people get divorced for. But if I trust him, if I trust that, okay, he's going to take care of the bills. I trust that this purchase that he's going to, that we are going to make, he says that it's something that we need. I trust that this money is going to be well invested. I'm not going to look back. I'm not going to look back because I trust. And whatever happens, I'm willing to take 
you know the consequences because I trusted that my spouse he made the decision and of course bad things can happen you know bad things can happen but it's not like he intended for it to happen but I trust him and I'm with him till the end regardless of the situation so again I'm not trying to make my videos long I'm already at five minutes and 18 seconds so I'm gonna stop now and I'll see you guys tomorrow